Hi guys, in this video, I want to show you how to access Microsoft SQL Server database from Pentaho 7. Uh, first, let's see what we have in the data source. Okay, uh, as you can see over here, we don't have any option to access Microsoft SQL Server database. So, because by default, uh, at the first time you cannot access it because you need to add SQL JDBC file to the Tomcat library folder you can search and download this file from the internet then you can copy this file to the Pentaho server Tomcat library after that you should be able to access it okay let's start uh, copy that file first to the Pentaho server. I have download this file. Yeah, you can download this file from the internet. Uh, I have tried to uh, uh, using the SQL JDBC4 and other, but based on my experience, I cannot use it. And then I try with this one, and I can connect to the Microsoft SQL Server. Okay, let's copy this file first to the Pentaho folder. Uh, in this folder, we have Tomcat folder and you can open it, then you can go to lib folder. Then you can copy that file to here. Okay, after you copy this file, you need to restart your uh, Pentaho. Yeah, let's close it first. Then we can stop the Pentaho service first. Okay, now the service already stopped it, then we can start it again. Yeah, now the Tomcat is started, then we can try to log on to the Pentaho 7 again.
sorry I use uh, VMware here so my server is a little bit slow maybe I have to close it first then try to reopen it again Okay, now we can log on to the Pentaho 7 again. Okay, now let's see what we have in the data source. Let's create a new data source and we can check it. Okay, now we have an option to access Microsoft SQL Server database database type we already see the Microsoft SQL Server already there then we can access it from this form okay okay guys thanks for watching my video for the next tutorial I will try to show you how to create a dashboard and make your Pentaho 7 can run automatically when you start the server bye